Hello, my name is Kate Bazin and I am a chartered physiotherapist who specialises in helping people who are having problems with their breathing. Feeling well is more reliant on a good breathing pattern than many people realise. I want to tell you about how bad breathing habits may, over time, lead to the development of a multitude of symptoms. Changes in your breathing as a response to stressful situations is very normal. There are many triggers and these can be different for everyone and may change over time. These triggers create a stress response which cause your heart and breathing rate to rise. This is an appropriate reaction as it prepares your body for the event, giving you an extra shot of adrenaline which allows your body to cope better with the situation. After the event, everything should come back to normal, including your heart rate, breathing rate and your breathing pattern or way that you are breathing. Unfortunately, in some, this coming back to normal does not happen. For some, the breathing rate and pattern of breathing continues in a similar way as during the stress response and a vicious cycle can be set up. Increased or changed breathing may cause symptoms in some, which cause worry, which can reinforce the abnormal breathing pattern and perpetuate the symptoms, even if the original problem has resolved. A subtle but persistent pattern of over-breathing may develop, which could not be noticeable to you or to anyone else around you. This can affect your general health and reinforces a poor breathing pattern, which can put you at risk of experiencing worsening symptoms if your triggers persist. The symptoms you might be feeling can be due to a change in your body's carbon dioxide levels. So let me explain about breathing and carbon dioxide. Your breathing is controlled by a respiratory centre, which is a bit like a thermostat. You breathe in oxygen, and breathe out carbon dioxide. If you breathe too much, you can lose too much carbon dioxide. If you continue to over-breathe, eventually your respiratory centre may reset itself to accept a lower carbon dioxide level. Unfortunately, this lower carbon dioxide level causes a wide range of symptoms in your body. These are headaches, muddled or fuzzy brain, dizziness, blurred vision, tingling sensation around your mouth or your fingertips, cold hands and or feet, tight muscles, increased tiredness in your muscles and general fatigue, breathlessness and air hunger, or the feeling that you are unable to take a deep breath. Some of you may not actually feel these symptoms but still breathe badly. This means that you may be breathing inefficiently. It may be that you are using the wrong muscles, or perhaps you breathe through your mouth at rest, which causes you to take in and breathe out an inappropriate volume of air for your body's needs. This may never affect you, but at some point in your life, it might. For example, after you have had a baby, you can lose strength in your tummy muscles and so have to use your diaphragm, which is your main breathing muscle, to help support the spine instead of breathing. This can make exercising harder, but you may just put it down to poor fitness. Even some elite athletes breathe badly and if they were taught how to breathe properly, it may mean the difference between winning a gold or a silver medal. To summarise, a poor breathing pattern may affect us all at some stage in our lives, but if it is allowed to become a bad habit, the effects are likely to be much worse.
Try watching our Assess Your Own Breathing Pattern film to see if you breathe well or not. You will find other films that explain how you should breathe in sitting, lying and standing. Thank you very much for watching.